While Andy prepares for the fight of his life, we see a flashback where a young Hyubu who recently just lost his father moves to Japan to live with Fujiko and her father in Japan. Shortly after, at home, while Fujiko and Hyubu play with each other, a man named Captain Sabatome Eiji approaches them. He requests that they join a new special unit of espers established under the Japanese army. Although Eiji states that the unit's purpose is not to invade other nations, Fujiko doesn't believe him and denies his request stating that all the army wants is to start a war. Fujiko leaves angrily with Hibu by her side, but he accidentally drops the letter his late father wrote to him, warning him not to use his powers to avoid being used as a living weapon. However, after thinking about peace, Fujiko and Hibu eventually join the special unit. However, a few months later, they get into trouble with a naval officer after he tries to assault Hibu. Afterward, the army talk about the possibility of disbanding the unit. AG rejects the idea, stating that it is a waste of their talent. In a bid to save the unit, AG makes a deal with the higher-ups instead. He states that his team will go against the Navy's state-of-the-art fighter aircraft named the Hero, and if they win, the whole incident will be forgotten. The higher-ups accept the challenge as they believe it will be an easy victory and the members of the special unit are preparing to display their power. After the deal, Eiji chooses Hibu to represent the Esper unit in the deal, which surprises everyone. However, while Hibu trains for his match against the Navy, his father's word hound him, and he gets distracted. Later that night, Fujiko visits him while he takes his bat and tells him to defeat the enemy no matter how strong they are. The day of the deal finally arrives, and it turns out the pilot fighting for the naval force is the same man Fujiko beat up. The deal begins and Hibu struggles to evade the officer's attacks despite all his training. Hibu soon starts feeling heavy and he looks like he's going to lose, but Eiji informs the team that he is going to win even though he's just a child. His speed increases exponentially and he evades the plane with Ace before winning the deal with the direct shot in the cockpit. However, his victory is short-lived after a U.S. Marine suddenly emerges from the sea while pursuing three dolphins. The Aspers try to talk to the officers on the submarine, but they shoot at them, causing them to retreat. Moments after, the dolphins ask for the Aspers' help. After communicating with them through ESP, but one of the dolphins is killed by the torpedo, the submarine launches another torpedo, but Hibu manages to save them with the help of the Navy fighter. They force the submarine to retreat while making the dolphins happy, but they warn Hibu about a deadly fate that awaits him and his friends. Several years later, after the bombing of Hiroshima, Hibu requests permission to be launched into the battlefield, but Eiji informs him about the imminent surrender of Japan as most of the members of the ESP unit have been incapacitated. Eiji states that he has received a precognition revealing that Hibu will bring death to the world and decides to kill him before that happens. He shoots Hibu, fatally wounding him in the process, but he awakens his power in a fit of rage. Hibu survives and attacks Eiji, presumably decimating his mentor. He then promises to kill every human who betrayed him and his friends. Back to the present, the US military is unable to locate the ship due to its cloaking capabilities. Meanwhile, Hibu attacks Andy, which surprises him, as he nullifies Esper's powers. Hibu informs him that he can also nullify powers, but not kinetic motion. Hence, he can still be defeated. Hibu knocks him down to the ground and Andy gets back up, pointing a gun at him. However, he's unable to pull the trigger as that is not his mission. He then deactivates the ship's cloaking system, exposing it to attacks from the US Army. Shortly after, the Army instructs the Pandra to surrender, stating that they are monsters, which angers Hibu. Much to Andy's surprise, the Army starts attacking the ship. 
causing Hibu to finally snap. Hibu faces the drones head-on after unleashing his power, and he destroys them with Ace. However, while he's distracted, the U.S. Army invades the ship and tries to catch Aspers using ECM, but they manage to escape. Elsewhere, Minamoto confronts Magi, revealing that Babel's true intention was to apprehend Pandra in order to prevent the attacks. He then allows them to leave and help Hibu, stating that they must save him. Back at the ship, the task force captures Yugiri, and Andy tries to stop them, but his superior shoots him. He leaves with Yugiri and Ichigo, while Andy lays unconscious. Soon after, Andy awakens and discovers that he's unhurt as his limiter stopped the bullet. Meanwhile, Hibu feels his body failing him. He gets shot at, but Magi takes the hit for him. Hibu then unleashes his power, destroying the invading fleet in a devastating manner before going unconscious. However, despite all his efforts, the ship takes one last hit and sinks to the ground. All to everyone has been evacuated except Hibu and Andy. Andy manages to save Hibu from drowning and they are rescued by Babu after Minamoto is asked by his superiors to be silent about the destruction of Pandra. Fujiko and Sikeki take Hibu to a safe house and they try to nurse him back to health. Once awakened, Fujiko questions him about the attack but Hibu doesn't tell her that they were after the ECM device. Elsewhere, we see a girl named Oboro, the secretary of Babu's leader, with the transmitter chip extracted from Andy's body and destroys it. However, at Kiru's request, Shiho captures Oboro and learns about the whereabouts of Hibu. Upon hearing this, Andy convinces the girl to take him along and they reluctantly accept. At the safe house, Hibu questions Andy about the voice he heard earlier on the ship and discovers that the man is Eiji as he somehow survived Hibu's attack. Shortly after, Sekeki reveals to the girls that Hibu is dying and Kiru offers herself for a blood transfusion to save his life. Meanwhile, after acquiring Yugiri and Ichigo, Eiji plans to use them to prevent the Esper's revolution, which will occur in the future. Despite still recovering, Hibu decides to leave, but accepts Andy's offer to follow him and they drive away together to rescue Yugiri, even though Kiru begs him to stay. Afterward, Andy arrives home and captures his former contact with Hibu's help. They force him to take them to where Yugiri is being held, but they do not realize that he has notified his colleagues secretly. They arrive at the facility but discover that Yugiri is gone, prompting Hibu to realize that this is a trap. Not long after, Eiji informs them that he plans on averting the destruction of the world by using Yugiri to kill the Queen of Catastrophe. Enraged, Hibu vows to stop him but they are soon surrounded by Eiji's drone. Andy and Hibu try to escape by fighting their way out, but they are eventually cornered by the enemy with nowhere to run. However, Magi and the rest arrive just in time and rescue them with their powers. After reuniting with his team, the members of Pandra head to New York after Hibu figures out that Eiji's next target is Norman Green the newly elected mayor who supports the Aspers. Meanwhile, Yugiri, who is being mind control, incapacitates various members of Pandra. Later on, after arriving in New York, Andy encounters Yugiri on the street and goes after her. He follows Yugiri to where Green is being inaugurated, but he's restrained by the police. However, he's rescued by Minamoto and Saki, who revealed that they are working with the city to stop Eiji's plan to kill Green using an Esper, thereby creating fear of them in the mind of people. Yugiri positions herself above Green and prepares to attack, but Andy stops her with his powers. She then launches a hypnotic attack which affects everyone except Andy and his colleagues. But the people start a riot as the riot continues to intensify Hibu confronts Yugiri and tries to free her mind, but her hypnosis makes him confront his past, bringing him down to his knees. With no other options left, 
Hibu unlocks his powers even though they might kill him and manages to rescue her, thereby saving the city. However, Hibu is unable to control his power because of his health and he starts to misbehave. He asks Andy to take Yugiri away to somewhere safe while his powers consume him. But Andy refuses to leave and uses all his might to stop Hibu's power with Yugiri's help. Andy saves Hibu's life but passes out due to exhaustion. Days later Hibu meets Eiji face to face and he asks Hibu to kill him because he is all alone as most of his men are already in prison. Hibu refuses to honor his request and decides to punish him by erasing all his memories. Afterward, Hibu heads back to meet his friends and Andy informs him that he wants to find his way in the world. Hibu bids him goodbye but he tells him that he will always be an honorable member of Pandra. The end. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to get notified when we upload a new video.